Hello, this is Nani from Booties and Bonnets. Um, this is my work in progress. Uh, this is the candy sculpt, and he's pretty much done. I used air dry paints, um, and uh, I wanted to. Right now, his um, varnish is kind of drying. He's got the sweetest little face, blue eyes, um, kind of greenish blue, but it, they're hard to see from here. But I. I really fell in love with this sculpt. He's got the sweetest little face, as you can see. Um, I'm going to be putting a little bit of varnish on his lips, which I'm not quite done with. Um, but I wanted to show you my work in progress here. Uh, I did put two. I use air dry paints. For those of you who are new with to my channel, um, I prefer air dry, and um, I. I bought some um, matting powder. I'll show you what it is. It's called matting powder um, from uh, Reborn FX, uh, which you can purchase through McPherson's um, site, and it works wonderfully. It comes like in a powder, and you mix it in with like uh, two uh, with distilled water. It comes with directions on how to do it. You mix it with distilled water and then you leave it set for like uh, five minutes and then you add this uh, matte varnish uh, it's called Liquidex Basics matte varnish and it really works well you mix this um, yeah it, it'll give you directions on how, what you do it's very simple when you get the matting powder it'll tell you exactly what to do what, how much to mix with what um, Right now, I can't recall all the uh, details and and that, but I really like the way his skin feels. It's very satin. Um, it's got a very satin feel to it, and he looks very matted. You know, there's a lot of matting, so his face doesn't look shiny. And if you see his little arms, um, he's still drying a little bit, but uh, I love the way you know this um, varnish works or this powder works on his uh, um, on his skin so anyway I wanted to show you this sweet little boy I got done with him uh, he's got very um, you know I glossed his nails and tipped them and I am gonna be glossing his lips which I haven't done yet I gotta work on that but I just I love the way his um, little face looks and his hair I painted really sweet look at that his hair I love the way I did it you know it takes a lot of practice but um, I think it's got he looks like a real little um, a very realistic little baby to me at least at least I feel that way um, so anyway I wanted to show you now my son got back from Japan. For those of you who are new to my channel, my son was in Japan. I'll show you his hair on this way, side. Um, so we just picked him up yesterday and um, he's visiting his sister right now, which is really nice. They haven't seen each other for six months or so. And uh, so we got all the suitcases still here. He has to unpack and uh, um, and we're really excited to have him back and he'll be staying with us for about six months he went to Japan and got his master's degree in uh, microengineering so we feel very honored that he was able to get done and um, it took him about three years to finish so he, he had he's a very dedicated young man and um, uh, so anyway, as soon as I painted this little guy, he looked so much like my son when he was a baby. So I'm still debating whether I should sell him or keep him for myself. I, I just, I think he's such a cute little guy and uh, he looks just like my son did when he was a baby. So I might name him Scott if I do decide to keep him. And, um, but anyway, I wanted to come on and just show you, um, my newest little baby here and uh, I'll show you outside where I'm in the sunroom right now and it's a gorgeous day out there look at that blue the sky is a little bit uh, 
cloudy in spots, but um, we have everything is very green because we've been getting a lot of rain, and my flowers are all um, blooming finally now that summer is here. And um, I've got some really pretty little yellow flowers over there, which I love. And we've got some more plants here. See, look at I guess yellow is my favorite color, as you can see. And my grass is getting a little long, so I better get outside and mow. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to come on and just show me, show you my work in progress with my little doll. And this is my workspace right here. And uh, so he has to dry for about three days now, and uh, then I'll be able to put him. Um, uh, I originally, you know, had the limbs and I had put the mat, the varnish on him, but he looked very shiny. So I decided to just try this satin powder or matting powder on him, and it really worked out well. So, so now I have to just let it dry a little bit, and then he'll be ready to get dressed. And um, um, yeah, I still have to put a little bit of a gloss on his little lips. Um, it might look a little yellow in here. His, his, he really doesn't look as yellow as it as he um, appears. But if you can see, there he is. Um, the lighting makes him look a little more yellow, but he really isn't. He's got more of a rosy complexion, and I like babies with lots of mat matting and um, lots of uh, uh, modeling and stuff like that. So. Anyway, I want to say goodbye to everybody and thank you for joining me. And I'll be making a video soon again. Um, yeah, now that my son's going to be here, we'll be doing fun things. But I'll still have time to show some of my Reborns. And hope everybody's having a great summer. So uh, thank you so much for joining me. And have a wonderful Sunday. Bye-bye, everybody.